Good morning. I am George Wenner and I'm here in St. John's, Antigua at the corner of Long and Cross Street. Today is Tuesday the 7th of June 2022 and we're here at the Seniors Ticket, Seniors Lives Matter. So let us go to the crowd and take a little taking a bit of what is happening. In lieu of taking care of our person who went before us in terms of making contribution to this country, we are now hit by a man who is here to insult any great persons and so on. So we really need to stand up and make sure that this historical event with Gaston Bone, as I said, a failed experiment, do not revert with like, like slavery into another hundred years. So we need to get rid of this person. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jean. Zizi, that was Jean. Let's, let's talk to another pensioner. Let's see if we get another pensioner. So, so how are you? How are you? How are you? So we have another pensioner who is on the line here. Wills, yeah. what bring you out here this morning? Yeah, man. Glad you yeah. are talking glad. to Zizi on the radio. Yeah, Zizi, why me? Yeah, I, I think it doesn't look good. But a lot of people who would like to come said they can't come because they don't have no bus money because of the social security backlog. And it creates a problem for us here in Antigua. So I want everybody who can make it to come downtown now and let us protest and let us see this, how we are strong and firm so that they could pay us our pension early every month so we could do what we have to do like pay bills and prepare meals and a lot of things right i do hope that if they will take heed and by august or uh, july august they will start to get things on the right track for us we the pensioners who are suffering can't make ends meet because of this keeping back of the pension every month. We're gone this side yeah. We're gone this side yeah. So there you have it Dizzy. Wills Wills is saying that are many pensioners who would like to be here are not here. The reason why they don't have the money to pay the bus to come into town to get their pension. Can you imagine that Dizzy? We also have on the picket line former former PM Spencer. PM Spencer <laughs> You're live on Crusader, Progressive, Zizi? Uh, yes, yes, of course. I have to identify with what is happening here because this cause is just, this cause is right, and that I'm calling upon the authorities to make sure that they put mechanisms in place, give it priority, so that the pensioners, the senior citizens in this country are taken care of properly. A lot of these individuals are totally and completely dependent on that pension. And if they don't get it, it creates all sorts of problems for them. And when they have to wait two months and three months to get a pension, it creates serious, serious havoc in the lives of these people. And that is what we want to let the government of the day, Gaston Brown and his administration to understand. Whatever it takes to make sure that the situation is regularized, my view is that that ought to be done. Give it the priority, put the necessary mechanisms in place to ensure that on a regular monthly basis, these individuals receive their pension. I mean, there are times when you are from a logistical and other um, situations, there might be a delay of a, of a week or so, but when you have delays of not only one month, but two months, and sometimes three months, getting absolutely nothing, and that is what you are supposed to be living on, that shall not be acceptable in this day and age. And therefore, I am here today identifying with the cause of the pensioners. Of course, my, I, I'm a pensioner myself. But I'm identifying with the cause of the pensioners and urge the administration to do what is right, good, and just for senior citizens. Thank you very much, PM Spencer. Oh, I'm 
Stefan, I'm gonna need this.